Established in the 1960s when faced with the threat of demolition of the Milton Park neighborhood, the Comunete Milton Park has been mobilizing and advocating for affordable housing, food sovereignty, and collective community power for decades. Now it's become the largest cooperative in North America where the residents have real agency over their own neighborhood. Today I'll be chatting with Nathan McDonnell, a community organizer at Milton Park, who has been working with the organization for the last decade to dive into the history of Milton Park, the various moving pieces of the cooperative, and what other community-led organizations can learn from their success. Hi, Nathan. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hi. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. Um, yeah, I would I would love to be easier talking to you about um, a little bit about the history of uh, Milton Park, how the Citizens Committee has formed, and what kind of work um, they're getting up to today. today. So, um, yeah, I, I'd love to talk a little bit about what kind of work you do at Milton Park. Yep. So, uh, I've been involved in Milton Park for the last for for, for um since two thousand and 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 fifteen um and yeah and, and um uh, and uh, i'm a community organizer so so i'm involved in um yeah uh, i'm a community organizer with the with the Milton Park um, 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 Citizens Committee, and and yeah, as a community organizer, I do things like like um, like mobilization and education and and also org- organizing to support different community um, um, yeah to support different community projects um, yeah and 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 th- yeah that's great um, yeah it's been so it's been almost 10 years now that you've been at Melbourne. Um fantastic um, I would love if we could dive a little bit into the history of Milton Park um, how it was formed, how the Citizens Committee was formed, um, like the factors that contributed to it, and how it's become one of the largest cooperatives in North America. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so, so the history starts, goes back, uh, the, the, the history starts back in the, um, back in the 60s, um, when a company had quietly bought up lots of different housing in the neighborhood and then in 1968 they 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 came out and announced their grand plan to knock down all the housing and to build the city of the 21st century with like high-rise hotels and and apartment towers things like that and then so this this provoked a community struggle because the people who lived in the neighborhood were mostly um, working class people and they they um, really wanted to stay in the neighborhood and also to keep the housing um, affordable and to also protect the heritage um, architecture and so, um, so 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 they started to do organizing so they went door to yeah they they went door to to yeah they they, they knocked on people they 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 started to organize in the community um started to sign petitions um, they organized um, that they, they 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 um organized protests so 
they they tried all all these different mm, tactics, but but um, but they weren't able to s stop the first stage of the of the mm, project. So the, the project had three stages, um, and they even they even did a occupation of the offices of the company and and they even um, they even squatted housing that was about to be knocked down so they tried all these different tactics and 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 were unsuccessful in stopping the first stage of the development project um, it, it, in total there were that there were going to be three stages so 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 the company knocked down some of the housing, built the first stage, and those are the high-rise towers that we have now. Um, but 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 be, because of the be, because of all that community activism, and because of an economic crisis, um, they were able to stop the. The other two stages of the project, and so, and and, and so by the, but by the by the by the, um, by halfway through the nineteenth, um, um, seventies, the company had decided they didn't want to develop the other two stages, and that they were prepared to. To sell, so so the community saw this as an opportunity, and then began to organize to um, to to make a strategy to buy up those undeveloped housing and put them and and gain community control of them, so that they could be um, so, so that they could become. Um, community-controlled social housing, um, and at, 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 yeah, at, and they were able to do that by putting pressure on the federal um, government, um, and who who at that time had just created CMHC, and was beginning to experiment with using. With yeah, um, in creating social housing, um, and, and so so this started a so this started the creation of the communauté um, Milton Park, which is a kind of complex of twenty two housing. Cooperatives and housing nonprofits, um, with a population of around one thousand two hundred. So it's a really incredible project where the housing is all community controlled, um, and and there's no um, landlords and. It's basically taken these properties off the off the off the um, it's taken them off the the private market. Um, yeah. So that's the that that's I guess the history of how we got the 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 housing and uh, yeah and and yeah it it was the largest. Um, cooperative housing project in North America. How did it grow to become like the largest? I mean, that's I think when we think of housing cooperatives, we we think of something at a much smaller scale. Is it just because of the um, the properties and the land that was um, at risk, and that that was the opportunity that? Um, was that at the bay, or um, was it because of the people that were working together um, and mobilizing? Yeah, yeah, 
it was very much um it it was yeah it was it was both because of the commitment of the people who were organizing because they were and and I can understand because they were trying to um trying to um they were trying to defend their homes um i i guess there that um there um there are three things that made the um that that made this kind of struggle successful um um the the, the first was that there was a very strong sense of of community um activism and community mobiliz mobilization and yeah and as we know this was a period um it in the 60s where there was a lot of activism um happening in society um also um it was because of the the at, at the time the the federal government at the time was was quite interested in supporting social housing um and then the and then the third is that there was an economic crisis which really brought down the value of of housing and and so that that gave an opportunity for for, for more non non <laughs> non um capitalist types of housing um because yeah if 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 housing isn't expensive it's much easier to purchase housing and and t turn it into social housing and and corporate housing so so th those were three conditions that they had at the time which made um which, which made it a big a big a, a, a big success and there are three conditions that we don't necessarily have today so it um everything is a lot harder i think um but but all, but that's why we need to you know keep up the struggle keep organizing keep finding ways to to yeah to 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 expand the struggle because things um history can go up and down and and opportunities can 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 come up it and so we 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 always need to be um yeah we we need need to get organized um before the opportunities come up so when the opportunities come up we're able to take them mm -hmm. uh, yeah i think that's a really interesting point too of how those conditions have changed throughout the time and since since the um, the committee has been formed since the cooperative has been formed since the 60s. Um, but Milton Park has been quite a living entity in the way that it's been mobilizing, in the way it's been um, active in the community and, and what it does for the people that live there and citizens and, and for Montreal in general. Um, and I'm wondering how the mobilization and the way that Milton Park works for, to advocate for housing um, poor homelessness, how that activism has changed throughout the years since since it's been formed. If you can talk a little bit about that. Sure. So a, 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 a over the past <coughs> um, 20 years, and another big element that's been a um, yeah, a, another, um, yeah, thing that, that, that's been an important element of mobilization in Milton Park um, has been the hospitals. So there's, there's several hospitals in the neighborhood that were, that the provincial government um, closed them down when they built the two super hospitals and these hospitals um they're all that they're all huge um yeah that 
they're all um, huge properties, and they all are um, uh, the, the, they're all important as as in terms of their heritage architecture. Um, so the um, and it, like in fact the Hotel Dieu Hospital is the oldest hospital in North America. Um, all, um, yeah, and, and, and then there's also the 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 um, the Royal Victoria Hospital, um, and there was the the um, chest hospital. Um, so when we knew that these that, that that these properties were being closed down and they were potentially being privatized, like maybe that they would become condos, um, the the community began to organize to yeah to 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 build um, community coalitions to argue for these sites to always be used for community needs, whether it's social housing, uh, healthcare, community services, arts, and um, culture, urban agriculture. So especially with the with the hotel. Um, 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 Dieu Hospital. Um, the community created a coalition called the Communauté um, 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 Saint Aubin, and it, it's a and and for the last uh, pro almost 20 years, this coalition and, 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 the, and its member or, or organizations have been organizing around this hospital. And then we see it very much as, as a way of trying to build um, um, a, 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 as, as a, a kind of new Milton Park. So kind of like Milton Park for the 21st century. Um, um, yeah. Um, did you want me to talk more about some of the hospitals or, or does that cover? Yeah, I, I would, I would love to hear more about the coalition and, um, how the way that it works is different and complements the work that, um, uh, Milton Park does. Like what, what is the purpose to have this coalition as a separate thing and, and how is it different from the organizing that Milton Park um, does on its own? Yeah, so good question. I guess to answer that first, I, I guess first I should explain a little bit of how Milton Park is structured, just to yeah, um, yeah just to good. kind of clarify that. So, um, so the Communauté Milton Park is the kind of the network or um, federation of the housing organizations. So yeah. the there's 16 housing cooperatives, there's six housing nonprofits, and, and there's also several other that there's a there's a um, several uh, other organizations, including a a community group that that is the landlord of commercial um, um, yeah commercial um, um, spaces um, so yes so, so the the Cognitive Milton Park um, which which is where we get the acronym um, CMP um, yeah, it's the it's 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 
it, it, it's a kind of community um, 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 land trust that 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 brings together all, all, all these all, all these um, um, organizations so and and this functions to kind of ensure the 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 land is kept in community hands and kept off the private market and then separate to that there's um, the, there's the the Milton Park um, citizens committee which which ha has the acronym c c m m um um yeah um p um so so it ca can be confusing between the CMP and the CC um, MP um, and so so that's the more kind of um, activist organization uh, that does mobilization and education uh, uh, yeah and to kind of continue um, yeah to, 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 to kind of continue that um, 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 legacy. Um, so the and, and then in terms of the coalition around the hospital, um, the with, with the Communauté Milton Park, um, that's a coalition of lots of different organisations, including the CCMP, including the CMP, and also other community groups and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, and I, I, I guess going back to the the CMP and the CC, um, 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 yeah, the CC MP. Um, it would be, um, yeah, I, I guess the as the activist organisations like the the people the we've. We've always had strong participation from fr from the fr from people in the housing co-ops, um, but also I think it could be stronger. You know, I think like um, it's um, yeah, it, it it it's like th th there's not 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 um, yeah n not not not. Um, everyone has the time or has the kind of political um, education to be involved in activism. So, hence why why I think it's important um, to do um, yeah in terms of building the community movement in doing education and, and also finding ways to make activism um, um, accessible. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much for explaining the kind of mechanics that um, uh, of how Milton Park works. Because yeah, it, there, there's so many moving moving parts. So if if I if I gotten it correctly, CMP is the coalition of all of the um, the groups and cooperatives and um, housing groups that are part of Milton Park. Whereas CCMP is um, the activist element of it that's mobilizing and organizing. Um, and continuing to to bring forward that legacy of how Milton Park has begun. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I, I'd say that the CMP, the Communauté Milton Park, is the coalition of like of like the uh, it, it is like the property. Um, um, management um, coalitions, so they're specifically focused on like the 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 housing and who owns it and how and and, and how that is yeah and, and the management of that. Whereas the CCMP 
um, is focused on like mobilization, education, and 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 community projects. And then and, and then we're also a part that, that there's a whole ecosystem of other organizations around that that do that that also do um, activism and and outreach and and, and and different kinds of community um, just services and and if you'd like I could also talk a bit a bit um, a, a, a bit about some of those yeah sure and and, and so is the St Urban coalition a part of that ecosystem as well okay um, yeah I, w- I would love to hear a little bit more about the work that they've been doing for the decommissioned hospitals and I guess before we get into that why it is important to have this sort of ecosystem of coalitions um, focusing on specific work um, and how they how that how that helps um, for the range of things that Milk and Tark as a whole uh, focuses on and does. Yeah um, so I guess I, I guess um, I guess like in in our society that there's, there's there's a kind of diversity of challenges like both socially economically and e- ecologically so so yeah so so it um so that so there's kind of like a, a lot lots of there's different um organizations working on on did on yeah on different things so f- um for example there's a there's a tenants union so and, and, and they um they help tenants to organize collectively against their 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 landlords um and they've only been around for yeah that they've only been around since 2022 i think and, and they've done yeah that they've had a, a a huge amount of success um and that that there's that there's um we we in the neighborhood we also have a a a food bank um and and this was created during the the pandemic um and and yeah and and it's still continuing um it's still continuing every friday um and 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 they 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 help about um yeah every friday they serve uh, about a hundred um um people um and they, they give both groceries and also a hot a a, a hot um um, 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 meal, um, and th- th- then there's it, um, that th- there's that we, we also have some urban agriculture projects in the n- neighborhood. So there's a, there's a garden, um, um on the um uh, the um the, yeah there there's a garden on the rooftop of our co-working um um center and then there there's also a garden on Hutchison street and um yeah that's a that's also a, a, something that people can get involved in. It's on um, every, uh, during the spring, uh, yeah, f- f- from the s- 
spring um, until about November. People can get involved in that. It's every 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 Saturday um, um, afternoon, um, and then there's also the 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 um, the um, bar, um, which is a a community um, cooperative bar um, cafe, um, and 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 um, in terms of um, homelessness, um, that um, we helped create an organization called called Coma, um, which is which which um, yeah which which does a lot of work around empowerment and and art and and like and and um and democratic part um democratic participation so like um using all, all of these kind of collective strategies um to yeah to 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 um support like um homeless people especially in uh, um especially um in in indigenous homeless people to um to to build their um um empowerment and also build community between housed and unhoused people and and so they're also in the process of creating a an in indigenous art art um um co-op as well um so yeah the, those are some of the other key projects that that the the ccmp has helped create over the last um yeah like uh, over like especially since the p pandemic and then yeah and then there's 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 also other organizations in the neighborhood there's like the milton park um recreation association that does a lot of like sports and, 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 and yeah, and, and other kinds of activities. Um, yeah. And, and, and then, um, and it goes on and on and on. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. That's so incredible to hear about so many of the different things that, that are going on. And yeah, it's really so holistic. Um, I mean, the fact that, there's there's food banks, um, there's the food banks, sorry, the tenant union, um, urban agriculture, all of that stuff. And I guess I'm just wondering how how does Milton Park have the capacity to start all these projects and do all these projects? I mean, I think um, it's it's such a goal that so many cooperatives um, would like to do to serve all these different needs in the community. But um, I'm wondering how that is possible. Um, for you to do that. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think I think it's a combination of two things. I think one is like building on the 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 legacy of the the the, the cooperatives. Um, yeah, it be, be, because the cooperatives have allowed there to be a very strong sense of community in the neighborhood because um yeah it, it's allowed people to like it's allowed kind of um working class people to stay in the neighborhood for for 20 years 30 years you know um and with them collectively in control of their housing it's formed um both very strong sense of of co co community and also a very strong sense of of empowerment. So I think like we have kind of collectively we have a lot of 
conf like self confidence um, because we own this huge part of the neighborhood, which um, a kind of confidence that in capitalism we don't usually have because we're kind of used to you know not having much power or or like just th thinking in it, thinking in terms of in the in individualism so just think in terms of me 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 so so yeah so 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 this um so this self-confidence and this kind of sense of of um yeah this community culture and then also i think like the fact that yeah like just very concretely the fact we own so much um housing that the 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 fact that there are twelve commercial spaces that are that are that 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 are owned by the community gives us like um, financially more power to to start new projects, um, and then yeah, and then after that I think it's just a case of um, when there's a when there's something to organize around is kind of creating um it, yeah it's like um mobilizing um around that so w which could be food security it could be housing it could, could be homelessness could be anything so mobilizing around that and creating something uh yeah creating an o o o organization that that people in the neighborhood can can get um, involved in. So yeah, so in all these projects, um, I'd say like in total, there's probably a hundred, like yeah, at least a hundred, if not maybe um, 200 people who are like actively involved in, in organizing to make, yeah, to, to like people who give a few hours of their time um, 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 every month um, and that's not 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 counting all the hundreds and hundreds of people who are involved in organizing the housing co-ops as well that's yeah that, that makes a lot of sense and i i love what you said about that the aspect of community confidence um and that because you you own so much of the 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 community and the or the neighborhood i mean um it's almost easier to be able to imagine what more community space could look like and to feel like you have the agency to create what um, need is at hand. Like you mentioned how the, the food bank was created during the pandemic and that was like, you know, an issue that was um, obviously at the, at the forefront of people's minds. Um, yeah, that's, that's really interesting about the community confidence. Um, uh, I guess the last question I just wanted to ask you, Nathan, is about um, what can other cooperatives and um, housing advocacy groups learn from, from Milton Park and um, what do you think that Milton Park does a really great job of that that can be taken away for, for other groups? Yeah, that that's a really good question. I think I, I would say for me, the <laughs> biggest thing is having a a. <laughs> A having a um, radical Im imagination, so not yeah. So kind of constantly thinking, how can we take things um, further? Um, how can we mm, democratize more of our mm, neighborhood more? more of the the um the e 
economy. Um, yeah, and and I I I think it's like um, really believing in the power of community to change things, um, and yeah, the the power of community to build a more democratic and ecological society and um i think also it's in believing in the the power and the contribution of every person like everyone has their you know um everyone yeah um everyone has their strengths and and so it's like you know not not everyone has the skills to do this or that but it's it's finding a place for everyone to participate in um yeah and, and i think also um it 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 has <laughs> um it 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 needs to be fun as well so like um um yeah and you know like um it it can't just be about the the um the the it, it yeah it it in addition to to being about the the political um, um, objectives. We also have to really enjoy the experience, enjoy the community. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's what I'd say. Great. Um, thank you so much, Nathan, for talking to me and like going into so much detail about the history and the mechanics of um, how Milton Park works. It's been it's been a pleasure. <laughs> thank you so much for your curiosity and also thank you for your patience um it, in terms of my s stutter I, uh, my stutter was stronger at, at the moment so thank you for your patience oh my God. No, it's my pleasure to, to hear you speak about this it's been, it's been great thank you so much thank you